Like every off-roader would do, I wanted to take the Prado on some of the trails that take the Land Rover just to see how it would perform. Spoiler alert, it is quite capable. Well, life has nearly killed me and my mind has put me on, yeah. Life has nearly killed me and my mind has put me on, yeah. So today we are out in the trails with my good friend Chris. What's up? And we are here to do some testing with the Prado because ever since I have bought the Land Rover, I wanted to bring it to the same trails. I bring the Land Rover just to see what it will do. I suspect it, it is going to do well because it has the rear locker but it's probably going to lift uh, some wheels Quite for sure. <laughs> uh, I am not going to take the exact routes I take with the Land Rover because this is lower and I would like to keep my bumpers. But yeah, it should be a fun afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> As I said in the beginning, this Prado has the factory rear locker, which not all of them had. If this didn't have the rear locker, there is no way it would make it through some of the sections ahead. For the beginning of the trail, I kept the rear diff lock off to see how the car would react to the ruts. That'll be the exhaust. The youngster handles it with ease. Being used to the suspension travel of the Discovery, I was surprised at how easily the Prado lifted wheels. However, the diff lock kept it going.
slightest mistake can have you tumbling down the hill in no time. <laughs> Crikey, this is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> For a campsite, folks, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we own four wheel drives. That's why we own four wheel drives in the glass house mountains. Oh, I'm excited! <laughs> Frothing. Now, the last word goes to the chef whale. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a wheel lift again. I <laughs> say a bit of a wheel lift. I mean, I'm taller than you now. We are in what I would call a dried up riverbed. <laughs> This doesn't look like it, but it is a pretty difficult little section, especially at the end. I am expecting a really big wheel lift, but we should make it. I'm very curious to see what the Prado will do here. There is an easier way through this, but I wanted to put it through the more difficult line to see how it would perform. What was this? Professional at work. Don't be stiff with the gun, nothing in there, Jesus Christ. Back down to earth. So we have made it through relatively easily. The Prado was very impressive. That was a huge li wheel lift, but the rear diff lock uh, carried us through. I must say that the Discovery in stock form would not be able to drive through that because it doesn't have a rear diff lock. It might have more articulation, but it is not enough for uh, that section over there. The difference between the two cars and the reason I have bought the Discovery is once you start modifying both cars, the Discovery has a lot more poten potential due to the solid front axle and the suspension geometry. So it means that it can be modified and it can become extremely capable. The Prado is very capable out of the box, but you can't modify it uh, as easily as the Discovery. And once you modify it, you won't have the same results as the ones you will have out of the Discovery. So yeah, I think we will probably continue to some very pretty viewpoint or if we find anything else uh, challenging on the road, we will probably get into that as well. This little section proved to be a bit more difficult than I first thought. The dry dirt offered little grip, therefore I needed to adjust my line a few times even with the rear locker engaged.
out of the box, a rear diff lock equipped Prado is a very capable vehicle. In terms of touring and exploring, there aren't many places it cannot take you. Its chassis offers a great balance of on-road manners and off-road performance. However, if tough off-road trails are what you want to do, the limits in articulation are obvious and there is sadly not much that can be done to improve this. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.